On to our trial, our community and the entire country is watching very closely a Baytown lawman facing a judge and a jury. Now, Officer Juan De La Cruz accused of shooting and killing Pamela Turner, a woman who family says suffered from mental illness. As day one of the trial got underway inside the courtroom, Turner's family spoke outside. KPRC 2's Danielle Grossman live at the Harris County Criminal Justice Center. Danielle? Yeah, guys, this is a trial three years in the making it actually wrapped up pretty quickly today around two o'clock going through three witnesses and the officer involved in this shooting will soon learn his fate. Juan de la Cruz finally has his day in court, pleading not guilty to an aggravated assault charge in front of a jury. Witnesses start to take the stand. The property manager, a Texas Ranger, and a use of force expert showing the body cam footage from that day in May, something Turner's daughter says is hard to watch. I see this video over and over and over and over, and I can't get it out of my head, and I hate you for what you did. De La Cruz approaching Turner after searching her name, realizing she has three outstanding warrants, one involving an assault charge. That's when the video shows De La Cruz try to arrest her. She resists, and he attempts to tase her twice. The defense explaining how Turner somehow got his taser and tased his groin area. I pray that this jury is able to listen to the facts. Investigators say De La Cruz then pulls his gun, takes five shots, killing Turner. Shooting her in the face, in the chest, and in the stomach. One of the expert witnesses saying deadly force was reasonable. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump standing behind the family of Pamela Turner. This police officer literally, literally shoots her mother while she is on the ground. The prosecution arguing this should not have happened. It is no way to justify this. Her daughter recalling the moment she got the call just three days after she gave birth to her very own daughter. Imagine the emotions that come with that. And then I want you to place them on hold for about three years. Now, if De La Cruz is convicted, he faces five years up to life behind bars. The trial continues tomorrow morning around 830 right here at the Harris County Courthouse. In downtown, Danielle Grossman, KPRC 2 News.